Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on properties of JCampaint. In this tutorial, we will learn periodic table trends, draw a reaction and set up R group query. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 12.04, JCampaint version 3.3-1210. Java version 7. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with JCampaint Chemical Structures Editor. If not for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Let us switch to JCampaint window. Recall that we had saved our .jar file on the desktop. Press Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously to open the terminal. Type cd space desktop and press enter. Type java space hyphen jar space dot slash jcampaint hyphen 3.3 hyphen 1210 dot jar and press enter. Jcampaint window opens. Let us begin with periodic table trends. The toolbar at the bottom shows buttons of some important elements. The toolbar has two extra buttons towards the right. Enter an element symbol via keyboard and select new drawing symbol from periodic table. Click on select new drawing symbol from periodic table button. Choose an element window opens with an inbuilt periodic table. Here we can see a box with the text periodic table of elements. This is an information box. The information box displays the details of chosen element. For example, I will place the cursor on oxygen. Details about oxygen are displayed in the information box. Likewise, we can see the details of various elements in the information box. Click on close to close the window. Click on enter an element symbol via keyboard button. Click on the panel. Enter element text box opens. We can type the symbol of the element in the text box. For example, I will type XE for Xenon. Click on OK button. The symbol of Xenon XE is displayed on the panel. Now let us draw the structure of Xenon Difluoride XCF2. Go to Edit menu, Navigate to Preferences and click on it. Preferences window opens. Uncheck Show Implicit Hydrogens checkbox if it is checked. Click OK to close the Preferences window. Click on Fluorine F button and then click on Single Bond button. Move the cursor on Xenon atom. Notice a small blue circle appears on it. Click and hold the left mouse button and then drag to draw two xenon fluoride bonds. Now I will explain about xenon's atom pop-up menu. Move the cursor over to xenon atom, right click on it. Xenon's atom pop-up menu opens. Here I will explain about isotopes, change element and molecular properties option. Let us first move to isotopes. A submenu opens with a list of isotopes of xenon. Next, I will move the cursor to change element. A submenu opens with various categories of elements. I will scroll down to various categories. I will choose alkali earth metals. Alkali earth metals list opens. Select Calcium CA from the list. We see that element Xenon is replaced by Calcium. Now we move on to Molecular Properties option. 
right click on calcium calcium's atom pop up menu opens click on molecular properties option properties text box opens type the name of the compound as calcium fluoride and click on ok button name of the compound is displayed below the structure let us save the file now click on save button on the toolbar save dialog box opens type the file name as calcium fluoride click on save button next we will learn how to create a reaction to draw a reaction we need to draw the required structures i have opened a new window with required structures here the reactants are propene and chlorine molecules and product is 1,2 dichloropropane on the left side toolbar click on the reaction arrow button click between reactants and products the reaction is created we will now align the structures properly in the reaction click on relay out the structures button on the top toolbar structures align properly i will now discuss about how to set up an r group query what is an r group query an r group query involves root structure and substituents it represents substitution on the same root structure it can involve derivatives which differ in one or more substituents click on create a new file icon to open a new window click on draw a chain button click on the panel to draw a carbon chain with three carbon atoms let us create a substituent that has to be attached to the carbon chain for example benzene click on benzene ring on the right side toolbar click on the panel let us label the terminal carbon atom as r1 in the carbon chain right click on terminal carbon atom atom pop up menu opens scroll down to pseudo atoms a sub menu opens select r1 now let us define the carbon chain as root structure click on selection button select the root structure by dragging over it go to r groups menu and select define as root structure the substituent structure will be added as not in r group click on selection button select the substituent go to r groups menu and select define as substituent an input box opens here enter r group number as 1 and click on okay button the substituent will be numbered as r1 on the root structure the substituent r1 will be marked with an asterisk the attaching carbon atom of the substituent r1 will also be marked with an asterisk click on the selection button select root structure and substituent r1 go to r groups menu select general possible configuration sdf save dialog box opens type the file name as r group select the location as desktop click on save button click on open icon on the toolbar open dialog box opens in the files of type select all files click on desktop click open then select the saved r group file click on open button a message pops up click okay a new file opens with r group query structure to align the structure properly click on relay out the structure button on the toolbar the structure shown is root structure along with attached r group substituent benzene 
Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt periodic table trends, draw a reaction, set up R group query. As an assignment, explore various periodic table trends and draw reactions of your choice. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates. Please contact us. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.